The endocrine system is important for human and animal health because it regulates and controls hormones and important functions like metabolism, growth, development, sleep and mood. And this importance increases at critical life stages such as infancy and childhood. There are substances that interact with or interfere with hormones in the endocrine system. When this leads to adverse effects, they are called endocrine disruptors. Humans and animals may be exposed to a wide range of endocrine active substances. These can be naturally occurring, such as phytoestrogens in soya, or synthetic, like dioxins and some pesticides. EFSA's opinion establishes scientific criteria for identifying the hazards of endocrine active substances and assesses current testing methods for this purpose. We endorse the World Health Organization definition that an endocrine disruptor is defined by three criteria. The presence of an adverse effect, the presence of endocrine activity, and a causal relationship between the two. In other words, that the endocrine activity leads to an adverse effect. Not all scientists and regulators agree on a distinction between endocrine active substances and endocrine disruptors, but we believe that this is important. The European Commission asked EFSA to provide this scientific advice to feed into a review of EU strategy on endocrine active substances and to support the EU decision makers regulating their use in the food chain, for example on pesticides. Available or developing internationally agreed test methods can produce data for identifying most endocrine disrupting effects. Where we have identified gaps, we make recommendations for future priorities. Importantly, no single test is sufficient and several tests need to be assessed together by qualified experts looking at the weight of evidence. EFSA assesses the level of risk based on the likely exposure of humans, animals and the environment to possible hazards in the food chain. A hazard is a possible threat related to the intrinsic properties of a substance. For example, amygdalin is a substance present in the stone of apricots. As a chemical, it's quite toxic and therefore a hazard. But because we do not eat the stone, the consumer is not exposed to it and therefore we consider that the risk to consumer is low. We believe that scientists can clarify through expert judgment and the weight of evidence what is or is not an endocrine disruptor.